Hello and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. I am Paco Garcia, your host, and today I bring you a review of Dosed Dark Places, a game, uh, an industrial science fiction role-playing game written by Jonathan Hicks and published by Osprey Game. Uh, you might have seen the unbooking video that I did about this game a few weeks ago. If you haven't, highly recommend it because I go in great detail as to what's inside the book and whether it is worth getting it from the production point of view or not. This is a 126 pages hardback, full color, even the beautifully illustrated book, uh, published, as I said, by Osprey Games. The book contains absolutely everything you need in order to play, from character creation, the rules, a little bit of the setting, and an introductory adventure, which is always very, very welcome. The writing is beautifully done. Instead of writing as most role-playing games are written, which is basically just a technical manual, this is how you play, this is the rule, blah, blah, blah. This is written more like a narrator explaining to a new recruit how a simulation is going to work so they can get trained and ready for life in space, in deep space, no less. That is very good because it sets the tone very nicely as to what the game is meant to sound like. This is not a Star Trek or Star Wars cleanliness sort of game. This is not a game about really wide open corridors with loads of light and super clean walls and floors and everything looks beautifully immaculate, you know, fantastically gorgeous. No. This is described as industrial, because that's what's meant to be. Space travel is dangerous, and this game is meant to reflect that. Spaceships are really dingy, cold, wet, oppressive, and narrow spaces where you save a little bit of space you need in order to make sure that everything is as cheap and quick as possible. That's just how it is. So instead of thinking about this as a Star Trek sort of setting, which of course, you could turn it into that if you wanted to, but it's not the spirit of the game, think about it more like an Event Horizon or Alien kind of game. That's, that's the way it is. Character creation is a doodle. You have seven different roles that you can take and four different attributes that you have to spread a few points across depending on whether you have a primary or secondary skill, that's the number that you're going to add to your dice. That's it. Creating a character will take you about 11 minutes, perhaps 12 if you go slowly. It's a very quick endeavor. The rules are just as quick and easy. Roll 1d6, add your attributes, that's it. Done. Roll and the 6, you fail. Roll 7, partial success. Roll over seven, full success. As simple as that. Of course, there are rules about, you know, uh, opposite, you know, uh, rolls, so on and so forth. But the mechanic is just as simple. So the thing I like about it is that the mechanics are not going to get into, in the way of the cinematic spirit that this game wants to give you. It's enough to keep a little bit of tension, but the tension is meant to come from the story itself. This is meant to be a dangerous kind of game, and it fits very much indeed. Editing and proofreading are okay. There are a few issues with some text misspell here and there, and there are a couple of decisions from the layout point of view, like a, a header being in the page when I think it should be in the next page, but you know, nothing major, definitely nothing that's going to stop you from enjoying reading the game. It's just nickels here and there. Uh, the illustrations are just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The game comes with, with uh, explanations as to how the universe works, you know, in terms of what is it like to travel through space, what kind of planets you're meant to find, what is long sleep and how do you come in or out of it, what is every role and each role going to be like and how they relate to each other. It isn't highly detailed. It is enough to give you an idea, but you're going to have to develop your world. 
you're gonna have to develop your own setting because this game just doesn't come with it. It just doesn't, which is a pity because I miss that. I miss that at least one thing because one of the things that this game doesn't go deep enough into is political intrigue or corporative corporate intrigue or factions that can compete or how space is divided so you know when you are going into an area that you should or shouldn't and what's going to happen if you do or do not there is a lot of it that it needs a little bit more development which is a shame there is for instance no maps anywhere which is ah i need to see some sort of space map as to where's earth and where's everything else you know is this meant to be a galactic intergalactic what is it there is an adventure as well at the end, which is very good to give you an idea as to how to play the game, what kind of thing you're meant to be finding. Be warned, if you don't put a lot of effort into it, this game could end up being Alien Light. As in Alien, the role-playing game, light. Because this is the, that's the easiest inspiration, the easiest thing that you're going to think about and create in your adventure. And this is pretty much all the game has to give at this stage, the way it's been developed. Even the adventure is a little bit like that. Don't get me wrong, it's good, I like it. And it puts a lot of pressure into the players, you know, on the players to do the right thing or do the quick thing. And there are consequences for everything. The adventure has been very well designed, but it is very simple. Stop. If you're watching this, you will see also a word written down there quickly send me a direct message in our Facebook page with that word and if you are the first person to do it you will get a weekly prize. Thank you very much indeed for being there and now let's go back to the show. Do I think this game is worth it? Yes, because it's read very quickly, it is very beautifully written, it, it is enough to you know introduce somebody to this genre if you wanted to, and if you are the kind of person who it's okay developing your own worlds and your own adventures and your own everything, yes, you have everything you need to do that very, very quickly. And to be honest, I think this is about you know 15 pounds, this is $25, fantastically produced, beautifully written, niggles here and there, but you know, it's a seven out of 10. So do I recommend it? Yes. So now get out there and get the book while I get my dog because it's making a mess of things. Thank you so much for being there. Leave me your comments down there, please. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And until the next time, I will talk to you very, very soon. Take care.